Hi everyone, welcome to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. I'm here with sweet little Piper Jean and we are going to make an ice cream cake, an ice cream sandwich cake today, right? Yes. So this is something that Piper saw on Pinterest and she's here with me today and we said, let's make it, right? Yes. All right, so you're gonna need two packages of ice cream sandwiches or a total of 24 ice cream sandwiches um, that's what we figured that you would have to have to make this and so you're also going to need some caramel sauce topping you'll need some hot fudge topping and you're going to need some maraschino cherries and we've drained these you're going to need some peanuts and we crushed some, you'll see that as we are making this, and then you'll need some Cool Whip also, okay? All right, so it's simple and easy, and so Piper and I, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna start putting them in our pan, right ma'am? Yes. Okay, all right, why don't you grab some right here, and, okay, good, all right. Can you reach those? Yeah. Okay. You no. can? Okay. All right. Ice cream's getting all over my fingers. Mr. Daryl just walked in the door. We are making a video, Mr. Daryl. All right. Thank you. So you put your first layer down. And we need a little short one over here. Okay. And then we got to squeeze them in right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now we need one more. Right. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to pour just the caramel topping over the top of this. This is it. You just pour this over the top. Reach in there and get get it out. I can smell the caramel. Can you? Yeah. Does it smell good? Yeah. Okay, so then you just spread this out. Okay, then what's next, Piper? What do you think we're gonna do next? We're gonna add another layer of what? Whipped cream? Ice cream sandwiches. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so can you start doing that? Yep. All right. So add the next layer. I'm gonna help you out. Just put it right on the top. Sometimes caramel is sticky, so it helps the ice cream sandwiches stick. Yep, that's right. It's gonna be so yummy, isn't it? Make sure you don't get some caramel on your fingers. <laughs> Sticky. And if you do, you get to lick them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you wanna add the, that one right there? And then the tiny one. Okay. And then I'll put this one right here. And then you can put that tiny one there. Okay, we're gonna kind of spread these out maybe a little bit. Okay. Now next, you put on the hot fudge sauce. And hot fudge, it's hard to get it to come out or to be able to pour it. So I have put it in the microwave. And um, to make it so it is going to come out of the jar easier. Caramel is thinner and you don't really have to do that. But definitely for the hot fudge. So I'm going to get this hot fudge. Oh, the steam's coming off. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. So the hot fudge is warm and the ice cream is cold. So, so let me start kind of... Warm, cold. You're going to get some steam, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Heard a sound of steam. Okay. Got some more in here. And this is like the perfect amount these the size is the 11.75 ounce is what we're using okay 
Okay, I think that's good. Excuse me, Piper. And so we're gonna spread this. And then the next thing is just, we're gonna put the Cool Whip on it. All right. So Piper, you wanna hand me the Cool Whip? I'll go ahead and open this. Okay. And then let's take some scoops of this. I'm gonna put it like this. Now normally you would put this in your freezer. And, but to make this just a one-time video, we're gonna just put this right here. And um, you would put it in the freezer after you put the toppings on and then pull it out and put your Cool Whip on the top because I have a feeling that hot fudge might make it where it's gonna uh, melt it. But as for doing this, maybe not. I love it when you can get it all done in one step, don't you, Piper? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna spread this out. Now, Piper, the next thing is gonna be the peanuts. We're gonna sprinkle the peanuts on the top. And Piper and I crushed some of these peanuts. So Piper, you just wanna sprinkle them on the top. I'll scoop this over so you can Grammy's gonna stop. Sometimes I get carried away. Okay. Nice. So delicious peanuts are the perfect. Piper ingredient. likes peanuts, don't you? Yep. And peanuts are the perfect ingredient for the topping. Mm-hmm. And then one more. Right. All right. And then we found the maraschino cherries that had the little stems on the top um, because we just think they're pretty. So Piper's going to put those on. Remember what to do, P? Mm hmm. Okay. But like maybe put one right here and one right here. So one right there and then one right there. Kind of right, remember, in a row right here. Okay, then put one right here, and one right here, and then one down here. Oh wait, we want to kind of line them up so that when we cut it is. And one right here, and then one right here. Right here. Right here, because it's next to the yep. end of it. All right. So that's it. What do you think, P? Does it look so good? Mm -hmm. Should we try a bite? Let's try a bite. Okay, so Grammy will get a knife and I'll get a plate and we'll try it. I think it's going to be delicious. Do you want this cherry in it? Yeah. Okay. Now have the cherry. Of course, you need a cherry. So good. All right, let's get that fork out and then you can try it, okay? Mm. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Wanna take a bite of it? All of it. Okay. Ah. Okay, just put it right through there. Okay, take a bite. What do you think? Can Grammy try? We're just gonna try off the same fork because that's just how we roll around here. That's so good. You gonna try the cherry? It's amazing. We did good, didn't we? That is delicious. All right, we appreciate you guys joining us today. Thank you so, so much. Always remember that you can do what, Piper? Hard things. You can do hard things. Thank you guys again. We appreciate you so much and we will see you next time.